Okay, good morning everyone. As promised, I am going to be delivering a video to you today on how to make um, chocolate nests. Now this is something that people make usually during um, Easter time because it uses these tiny boxes of mini eggs and so you guys are going to bear with me uh, while I develop my video YouTubing skills and I'm going to be teaching you how to make these chocolate nests today so um i'm just gonna get up a little bit and adjust my camera so that everyone can see what's on the table and how i'm going to go about starting this recipe okay so as you can see the ingredients are all on the table and I am in my garage classroom and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start this recipe. I'm just going to turn my table so that everyone can see what's going on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bowl and I am going to be putting some chocolate buttons. Now the chocolate buttons look like this. You get them in countdown. Mom can very easily get it in the baking section. Now I try to keep the ingredients for the recipes already simple. Um, so there's no oven involved today, it's just going to be the microwave and there's no measurements involved either. So what you do is you just take a little bit of the, experiment with it first, all right? So you take a little bit of the chocolate beans and you put them into the microwave for a few minutes. But when you put them into the microwave, you make sure that you, t you just put them in for 30 seconds at a time. So I'll show you what they look like as they come out of the microwave because chocolate burns really easily and we don't want to get our chocolate burned. So we're going to let it go for the first 30 seconds. We're going to take it out and give it a little bit of a stir. And then we're going to see how it comes out. All right, so 30 seconds. I'm going to take it out and I'm just going to give it a little stir and you'll see the chocolate starting to melt. You'll just see at the bottom and be careful when you do this because sometimes the bowl also really gets really hot. All right, let's go for another 30 seconds. All right, on the top of the microwave here, you guys can have a look at my walking water that I thought, about, that I thought you to do in the last science experiment we did and you'll be able to see the walking water experiment worked really well I was really excited to see Janessa give it a go and she sent us a little video on how it worked so that video is on one of the slideshows that I sent you last week all right so that's about a minute and can you see how the chocolate's starting to melt inside the bowl cool all right I think we'll need another minute or oh, another 30 seconds. So that's another 30 seconds. chocolate is almost done if you have a look at that I'm not going to put it in the microwave anymore because the bowl's really hot now and the rest of the chocolate will melt really easily this is the nice part about buying cooking chocolate because cooking chocolate is yummy but it also melts really easily so that's my melted chocolate now we're going to go back to the table and we are going to add the other yummy bits all right the next thing that we're going to add to the bowl of chocolate is going to be 
a little bit of desiccated coconut. Now that's what desiccated coconut looks like. It's tiny little bits of coconut. I love coconut. Coconut's one of my favorite things when I'm baking. So I'm just going to drop a little bit in there. Again, it doesn't matter how much you put in there. Just so that when you stir it up, it all disappears into the chocolate just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of rice bubbles. Now these are these rice bubbles, which are really easy for you to get in the supermarket as well. And then you can use a little bit for your chocolate nest and then you can eat the rest of it for your breakfast. So I'm going to add just a little bit now, but I need to think about this. I don't want to add too much in there. I just need to add enough in there so that it coats, gets coated with all of the chocolate. There you go. That's looking awesome. Just like that. Now I love nuts and so I've got a, a few nuts in here. My favorites are almonds. So I'm going to pick a few almonds and I'm just going to chuck them in there. You can use any nuts you want. I've got almonds and walnuts and I've even got some chocolate coated nuts in mine. So it mm, smells yummy. And so I'm going to stir that up. Now that's it. As easy as that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out some of my cupcake cups. Now I've got some very colorful, pretty cupcake cups here. I think I will use a green. I'm going to try and place it somewhere on the table where you are going to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, let me move these other ingredients out. I think my camera You'll be able to see what I'm doing from there. I'm going to use a purple one. I'm going to use a blue one. And I've got some orange and pink stripes. And I'm going to use uh, some green and blue stripes as well. So I'm going to put that over there. So that you can see. And all you need to do then is you just take spoons of your mixture and you put it into your cupcake cups because the chocolate goes from a solid to a liquid. It changes state. That's the science involved in cooking. All cooking has some science involved in it. And the science involved in making the, uh, these um, little chocolate nests uh, that you watch the chocolate go from a solid, which is hard, to a liquid, which is runny. All right. Ooh, yum. I'm going to take a taste. <laughs> Delicious. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my little box of eggs, my mini eggs. And they're really cute speckled eggs inside. Look. And I'm going to take two eggs each and I'm going to put them on the top of my nests. They're little baby eggs. I'm going to imagine that little baby birds are going to come out of them. Oh, that is cute. I'll bring it up to the camera in a minute and then you will be able to see what my chocolate nests look like up close. Right. Yummy. All right, so that is what a chocolate nest looks like with two eggs in it. So you can choose to have two eggs in it or three eggs in it. It's up to you. And then you just leave it for a while. And then you'll notice that the chocolate turns back into a solid. So first you Put it in the microwave when it's a solid and it turns into a liquid when you apply heat to it and then you mix all your ingredients into it and then if you leave it again it turns back into a solid and then it'll be delicious and then you can pick up your easter egg nest and you can enjoy it so i hope that i challenge you all to try this recipe and send me some photos of you making your own little videos or send me some pictures of your finished products. And I'm going to be so excited and, so, and thrilled to see that. Okay, everybody. That was the Easter egg nest.